Hi guys, me and Dietash Brick right here. This is another video, and today I'll be unboxing the Burago Ferrari SP1, SP1 Monza. So let's dive straight to this unboxing video right now. Alright, so before I dive straight to unboxing this model, let me just show you guys around what's the box art on the outside. So mainly, you got your standard Burago. Branding right here with UT quite being obvious. You got your one thing, your one anything steel uh, information of uh, what is the steel of this model right here, and you got your recommended age as well here. More Barado branding, and you got your Ferrari race and play series right here, and there's more in the inside there, and yeah, the car name and the Ferrari itself, and you got the Ferrari logo, and mainly just more of this Ferrari race and play series and. One thing I like about this box art is it has a very historic feeling to it. So mainly you got your classic Ferrari right here. I think this is a 250 if I'm not wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know this is definitely F50. And uh, yeah, there's many, there's many more iconic Ferrari models displayed right here. So yeah, let me just unbox, show you the rest of the box art first. So mainly you got your more standard Burago Racing Play Series. And here mainly they show, show you guys what they have in their lineup. So mainly you got their 143 series, 132 and 124, which to me usually 124 and 132 is usually not that common. It's mainly the 118 or 164 or 143 series that's more common in the die cast world. These two we don't really care about, but same Burago still do it. But yeah, same thing right here. You got the same thing on that side, which is similar. Other than that, uh, let me just unbox this model. Unbox this model for you right now. All right, so I managed to remove the model from its box, and here is my Burago SP1 Monza. So mainly, if you guys didn't know, this is my second Burago in my collection. Mainly, I if you guys know my collection, I mainly collect uh, Horace Elite and BBR. So mainly, my only Burago other than the SP1 Monza right here will, will be the it will be the 48 GTV, which I which was my first. Uh, one this year model which I bought for my, for my collection, but other than that, uh, this is my second Burago model to my collection. Uh, let me just give you guys a brief walkthrough about this model. So many, if you guys didn't know this, many a uh, open top, no window version and no roof version of the. If they call it the SLR stowing mouse, so many Ferrari. If in real life you could you could either opt for the SP one, which is just a one seater, or SP two which is a two-seater car, which usually, usually this area you will have the another seat to maybe bring your passenger around but for this mo diecast model right here you're seeing it's only the one-seater option so yeah that is the SP, hence is the SP1 for, for, uh, for the Ferrari SP1 Monza right here which is just simply amazing other than that let me just that's all I have to say for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Dietash Break. And my Instagram should pop up right about here. And click the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. Or click here to subscribe and click here to see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.